Hello everyone. Today I want to explain on how to set up AM dispatcher and I'm using VM or instance from AWS which is easy to instance. So here there is a diagram that showing on recommended AM architecture by Adobe. So normally for AM we have author instance where authors can do content population here in author instance uploading the content, modifying the page and after they finish the authoring they will publish to publisher instance and after that publish also pointing to this dispatcher instance where in this layer we can catch the content we can set up the filter for the header and also do the load balancing into this dispatcher so when web visitor uh, visiting the website they will access dispatcher instance in the previous video I have explained on how to install author and also how to install publisher so in this video I will explain on how to set up dispatcher uh, dispatcher is not really something that we install it is something that we configure in Apache uh, yeah, Apache configuration it's like a module dispatcher is like a module which we are setting up in Apache so Apache web server yeah okay I hope I have also explained uh, how to create EC2 instance in my previous video so here I already have two VM two EC2 instance and in the first instance I have installed publisher if we open this IP it will opening up publisher this is the we retail website page is the demo page from AM and I have also created another EC2 instance and this instance is still empty I have installed nothing inside so if we open here uh, we can open anything because it's this instance is still empty and we are going to set up dispatcher in this instance okay I have listed the step here and I will share the step in the description you can check out the description later so the first step is change to root user because we are going to install and set up the configuration for Apache later is easier if we just change to uh, root user using the command sudo su by the way this is my dispatcher instance I ssh through putty so the first step is to change to sudo uh, user to root user and then install apache web server to install apache we are using this command we are using yum and install the httpd which is apache and that's why that's why is to answer the to commit or to agree on the installation is we are forcing the answer okay the apache already installed we can verify the installation the installation using this command so we can get the result here means the installation is completed if you want to check the version you can use this command httpd-v so our apache version is 2.4.46 okay after we install the apache it's not automatically started so to start the web server we need to use this command systemctl start httpd okay to check the status of the if the apache started or not we can use this command systemctl status httpd so we can see the apache is active running here Okay, and then we are going to create the folder 
dispatcher folder under root folder can cd to root and then we make dispatcher directory okay you can ls here to verify yeah, we just created this folder and then uh, we go inside this folder using cd dispatcher now we are going to download the dispatcher yeah the installer so you can refer to this link to get the apache all the necessary resources to set up apache for this sample my system is linux and 64 bit so there is 32 bit or 64 bit is depending on your vm depending on your system or let's say if you are using mac os then you need to get this installer so for my uh, system i'm using linux 64 bit and i don't have any open ssl support so this is my downloader you can copy this link address and so and you will get this I already get earlier so this is the download link and we are going to download this uh, resource dispatcher resource using curl this L and then the output I will name it same like this one same like the file name this is the output name that we will get later after we downloaded it okay so you can use this command okay downloaded you can use os to check this is the apache uh, dispatcher resource that we just downloaded and extract let's extract the file using this command star dash x vf okay if you ls again this star file has been extracted and we get the configuration folder this is folder yeah d uh, and this is the file the module file for dispatcher okay now we are going to create the soft link this is the the SO file uh, is like compilation of the script inside of this DSO file and we are going to create the soft link from this file into the Apache module so use this command ln this s we link this file to Apache module done so if we verify if we go to this folder we will see this so we have the special module which is pointing to the root folder where we download the dispatcher resource in this folder okay let's go back to this root folder and go to the configuration directory just after we extract we get this configuration directory configuration folder and inside this con folder we have dispatcher.any uh, file and let's copy this dispatcher.any file into the apache configuration folder use this command to move over this file into the etc sctpd configuration folder so we already move here and if we go here so we will see the file this is after we copy just now okay and then we are going to edit the configuration here 
we are going to edit the configuration in httpd.conf so currently we are in this folder and we have this is the generic if we ls again this is the same folder this is the generic apache configuration and this one is specific for the dispatcher okay first we are going to edit this one first the httpd so you can use pi and edit this file and what we are going to edit is we are going to insert the following code for the dispatcher configuration you can get the the code the include code from my github repository so you can open the link and then you can copy this so basically this one is to load the dispatcher module and set up all the necessary configuration for the dispatcher so you can copy the whole thing and then in this httpd.conf file go to the last line yeah and then insert here and save just colon wq exclamation mark so we already edit the apache configuration file to load the dispatcher module and all the necessary dispatcher setting next step we need to edit the host name the host name is for our publisher ip so i'll just add comment here host name is pointing to publisher ip and the port you can use any port for me easier to just use 80 the default http port yeah okay and this setting is under dispatcher dot any file which is also here in the same folder and let's open this file so the host name is here under render and we are going to change this ip with the publisher ip which is this one and then the port the default port is 4503 but i will use 80 and then save it okay we are pretty much done setting up our dispatcher so just to recap we are in uh first we need to install the apache web server and then start it after that we download all the necessary dispatcher resources from here and we extract it and we create the link the module the dispatcher module into apache module and then we edit the apache configuration file and also the dispatcher configuration file and after all this done let's restart our apache using this command systemctl restart httpd okay done so after our setup done we can open back our dispatcher ip and now we can access our publisher from this dispatcher so meaning it's successfully uh, set up the dispatcher and pointing to our publisher okay that's the explanation and the video about how to set up am dispatcher in apache web server if this video helpful for you please like and subscribe this channel thank you for watching see you in the next video god bless you